thought you should know that when we first met you, we all thought you were rude. You know, a-hole. I'm sorry? Nothing. I just thought you should know that before you start your next job. Thanks for sharing that. Well, it's a sad, sad day here in America, folks. Tragedy has seemed to yet struck again in the area. This just then. 13-year-old Jennifer...
gonna get that? Think back when we were both 16. You and I were walking out of that convenience store and I saw that Lincoln Continental parked outside the restaurant. I decided to take it and... No. It's me. Gary? That's right, how have you been? Hey, thanks Bernard. Always a pleasure, Gary. It's been... 15 years. Shit. That long? <laughs> Trust me, that's the day I will never forget. God, and seeing you right now, it's it's like the past all over again. Yeah, well, you sure don't look the same. I look and feel like a whole new person. Here's to change. Oddly enough, Sean, you look like your same old self. I do. Well, I mean, how on earth do you think I recognized you? Growing up, you were always a bit on the quiet side. Thanks. I mean that in a good way. A good, smart, friendly way. So that's what brought you here. You're a warehouse manager. That must be exciting. Not as exciting as being a high school janitor. <laughs> that's head... Janitor with benefits. <laughs> Anywho, 
Out of the two of us, I always knew you'd be the first to leave this place. Why do you say that? Because that day, outside of the restaurant, you weren't the one in handcuffs. You were smart enough to take off. Have an exciting career. You got married. What's wrong? Divorced? Deceased. My wife and my daughter. It was a car accident. They're looking at a better family member. Family's just in a better place. I was locked up, you were looking at a new and improved Gary. I crossed over to the other side. Other side? Growing up, I didn't live in the best home. I didn't think going into Julie would be much better. But I was wrong. Volunteers from the local church came in and spiritually resurrected me. Hence the new and improved me. Gary, you want another one? Uh, I think I'll pass for Narva, thanks. I gotta go. I gotta go check it on some folks and see how they're doing. Some friends of mine are uh, working at the yard sale. Just a couple of blocks from here. If you wanna check it out, the address is 7290 Vincent Circle. What? It's truly a blessing living next door to these folks. I can't wait. We're raising money to rebuild the church. Ever since the recession hit, everyone's looking for some spiritual guidance. Gary, I was wondering when you're gonna show up. I could have used the help. I saw an old friend and I just couldn't help myself. Sean, this is Brian Stevenson. Brian, this is Sean. Uh, I'm sorry, Sean Luther, an old buddy of mine. Very old. Pleasure. So, what brought you here? Got offered a manager's position in the warehouse. Pretty exciting. Brian, where are you? Sally, come over here real quick and meet the new neighbor. Well, it's nice to see you finally out of your shell. Shell? Well, I waved to him twice already. All I got in return was a nod. A nod is better than no nod. Sweetie, I'd like you to meet Sean Luther. Hey. So what brings you here? Job, Job offer. Warehouse manager. Exciting. Very exciting. Well, I lived here for the first 17 years of my life. And then me and my mom moved to New York. What the hell possessed you to... <laughs> what on earth possessed you to come back here? Great job and old friends. Sally. Well, it was nice to finally meet you. Same here. So, what's on next week's agenda? Let's think. Uh, bake sale last week, yard sale this week. Let's wait till this week's over. Fair enough. Sean, I will be seeing each other real soon. Likewise. There's some more boxes I have to unpack. So how long have you known them? Uh, next week will be two years. Both of them are going to school on uh, mommy and daddy's expense, of course. Mm. It makes me wish I would have known them when I was in school. <laughs> you could say that again. One donation from his loaded parents, we wouldn't have to have a sale ever again. You mean? Compliments of mommy and daddy. 911, what's your emergency?
Okay, ma'am. I'm gonna need you to stay calm. I found his papers on the on the side and I just don't know. I know. Please, please, you have to help. I will help you. I just need to know if Eric might have gone to with his friends. Hey mom, no, I just got up, why aren't you sleeping? Why am I not sleeping? Why didn't you call me last night? Yeah, yeah, listen, I just called to check on you, how's the new house? It's quiet. You should have moved in with me. I always told you a retired woman could always use some company. Your room hasn't changed that much since you left it years ago. Maybe that's not a bad idea. I mean, it's not like I'm in the place. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, when your father left us, that didn't slow me down because I had you next to me. Now that you're a widower, there's nothing wrong with having your family next to you. Yeah, well, let me think about it. Yeah, I love you too. Certainly the weather in the area hasn't changed very much. Hopefully we start to see some showers soon. The temperature seems to have increased by two degrees since yesterday. The humidity still remains the same. So my advice is don't even think about going outside without a very cold bottle of water. Now following up in the case of the two missing girls, Jennifer and Kimberly Knox. So far, it's only been two days since they were last seen before the abduction. Reporters were able to get a hold of both parents. In response, the mother stated this. Jennifer and Kimberly were two girls who'd never hurt a living soul. They had on blue matching backpacks with their initials on it. Those two girls are a whole world, but then they were taken from us. So whoever's out there, whoever's out there listening to this, I ask that you please don't lose hope. across the street. I was hoping Brian and Sally were home. Do you have a name? Sean. I don't believe I got yours. You're still a stranger to me, Sean. Name's Tommy. You wouldn't happen to know where they are or what time they'd get back, do you? They're back at the church having a meeting on next week's cell. Let me guess. With Gary? That's right. Look, I was just about to head down there. If you want, I can give you a lift. 
Well, that's kind of you. It'll just take a second. You need some help? No, 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 no. Trust me. I got it. Looks heavy. You want that ride or not? Just go wait by the car. It'll just take a second. Car's open. It's okay. I'll just wait here. We just have to make a couple of stops. I hope you don't mind. No, no. Is there anything I can do? Stick that in the glove compartment. You hear about those two missing girls? Their pictures are posted all over town. No, not really. Tragic, don't you think? Tragedy's like God's way of saying you should up and do something and take your mind off it. Did you take a look at those missing children in there? Is that what those are? I found those lying all over the place. You never know when you're going to bump into one. It's always important to know that there will always be a better place for the absolute faithful. Yes, thanks for the lift. Sean, I didn't expect to see you here. Now I feel bad I didn't invite you yesterday. How'd you get here? Uh, I drove him here, genius. And that would feel really bad. You two cut it out. Hi, Sean. How have you been, Sally? I'm surprised you showed up here. Yeah, I was actually looking for you guys. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you guys might have had a picture frame about this big. You know what? I'm pretty sure Gary has one. What are we talking about? A picture frame about this big. Yeah, there should be one in my uh, study, just around the corner. I can show you the way. That'll be nice. Sal, we gotta go. You two can take off. It's not that important. What's not important? We're going to hang flyers around the park. The flyers for the car wash next week. There's also a dance room. Let's just get this over with. Last I checked, money doesn't just grow on trees. <laughs> One phone call from the parents would be saying that way. <laughs> Sally, go ahead and go. I'll stay with Sean, deal? Was it something I said? No, the janitor just has that effect on people. Tommy, my girlfriend's waiting.
Well, I guess that's just one of the benefits of being a janitor. You're not stuck behind the wheel of a truck all day. the way Brian had Tommy wrapped around his little finger the whole time. Tommy's the kind of person that has to have someone tell him what to do at all times, otherwise he can't function. That could drive a person insane. Well, you never know. The frame should be in one of those boxes. Sean! I'm... I'm sorry. I said, between you and me, I'll probably never get along with Tommy. I should probably do something about that. Sorry to hear that. I see you found it. Yeah, but I can't... Remember how big my piece of paper was. I don't seem to remember where it is at all. Um, I think I might have left it in the other room. Could you go grab it? Yeah, just wait here. You okay? Just can't wait to see if it fits. Sally and Brian, would you? Yeah, the room we're at the park, just a couple blocks away. Are you taking off? You know, I just had a couple things I have to ask him. Why? You coming? I still have a few things to do, plus I have to lock up. How much do I owe you? I know what the frame is for. Consider it doing a favor, brother. Thanks. You know, I drove here. I mean, do you need a ride? Well, I... I want to know if I can borrow your bike. My bike? You know, get a little bit of exercise and... learn a little bit more about the neighborhood, really. Okay, but... that bike and I have a history together. You truly are a saint. having a car wash next week. Do you remember what it's for? Say it. Very good. Sally, stay here. We're going to go around the corner. Sally. Sean, I'm surprised you're here. Where's everybody at? 
Uh, they're around the corner, hanging up flyers. What's up? What do you know about Gary? I know he doesn't like Tommy. You know about that? Everyone knows about that. Is he any good with kids? <laughs> What's funny? Have you ever seen him with a kid? Everyone wonders why he doesn't have one. Every year he throws a party so there's something for the kids to do. You gotta keep them active otherwise they'll go crazy and there are a lot of psychos out there. You don't say. What's wrong? I'll probably tell you later. John, how's it going? Me and him were just talking. Where'd Sarah go? Who's Sarah? Her new little friend. She must have went home or something. Good. Then maybe you can help us. How many times do I have to tell you, Brian? The internet. Everyone uses it because everyone's on it. Look, guys. I'll see you later. We'll talk tonight, right? Definitely. Sally. Whoa, whoa, what's the rush? Look, I'm not comfortable staying here. I just came by to let you know that I'm moving. I'm going to New York. Well, that blows. Is there any way I can reach you? Well, sure. You know, I was hoping I could talk with you a little longer. About what? I was sort of hoping I could go with you to New York. Because I've been here my whole life. Couldn't you ask your family to take you? My family died when I was 17. Just before our high school graduation. I... I didn't know. I'm so sorry. I don't have any family here. I always dreamed of becoming an actress. Listen, let me think about it. I've got to go.
you must be asleep or something. Um, I'll try calling again tomorrow. Saw your car in the driveway. Glad to see you're home. Why? S sorry. Please. I like what you've done with the place. Sorry, I haven't gotten around to unpacking yet. Unpacking? <laughs> Funny. Sorry? You know, for a manager, you sure have a hard time listening. <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> I'm just here for my bike. Every morning I wake up, I go for a bike ride. It's how I stay so energetic. Converting people to Christianity is not an easy thing. Yeah, of course. Thanks again. Oh, and, uh, one more thing. You wouldn't mind going to the church with me tonight, would you? I've got to set some things up for the uh, kids' dance tomorrow night. i got to wake up early in the morning. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Tommy's supposed to come by in the morning. I don't know, for some reason, I have a feeling he won't be showing up. Maybe it's because of me. What do you think? I don't know, Gary. It's getting late. We'll see what I can do tomorrow. I didn't mean to freak you out. You're right, it's getting late. Tomorrow's a very busy day for me. Big day for the kids. Mr. Luther, I hope you change your mind about leaving tomorrow. <laughs> Sean? Hey, neighbor. Nice cross. Oh, it's something to scare the Democrats with. Nice place. It's an OCD thing. I'm really glad you came over. Well, I'm going to keep this short. Oh, that's right. You take off for New York tomorrow. <laughs> what would you want to do with a small towner like me? It's called sarcasm. If it makes you feel any better, New York's not all that great. Penny, do you want to come talk in the kitchen? Sure. Do me a favor. Please don't mention this to Brian, this whole New York thing, when he comes back up. I promise. Where is he at? Oh, he's in the garage. Can I get you something to drink? Mm, no thanks. Look, I wanted to talk to you about Gary again. Again? Mr. Popularity. Look, I really didn't want him to know that I was moving. Hey, Brian. I thought you were someone else. Sorry, I figured you were busy, so I didn't even bother to ask. Sorry, I don't plan on staying for long. No, no, it's no problem. It's great having you here. We were talking about Gary. <laughs> really? Do you guys find Gary to be a little odd from time to time? Odd as in strange? Not really. Excuse me. He was just at my house, and 
started going on and on about staying in shape. Tommy. That's no surprise. Brian, he knows. He was saying how he wasn't going to be able to make it to help with the dance tomorrow. Well, he would have been right to. Because Tommy mostly comes here and gets hammered. Not all the time, Sean. That reminds me. He's supposed to show up today. I guess he must have been caught at work. I tried couple, calling a couple of times, but no answer. Maybe working overtime. When I heard the knock on the door, I was sort of hoping it was him. He's supposed to give me a hand with those boxes. Stuff left over from the yard sale. Guess I didn't make the cut. What time is he supposed to be here? Now-ish. Guess we're going to have to postpone. That's good. It's best to get out of the way now instead of having to hang over your head tomorrow. I told you it's too late to go out. The cops are having a field day on those missing kids. That's something I really wanted to talk to you guys about also. About the cops having a period? About the missing kids. You sure you don't want that drink? This conversation just got a whole lot more interesting. Get him a drink. I was listening to the radio the other day about those two missing girls, Kimberly and Jennifer Knox. It's a sick, sick world out there. You know, what can you do? I have to go get something. Do you mind? Go ahead. I didn't even know what you wanted to drink. Water's fine. We have lots and lots of soda. Actually, since you put it that way, tea would be great. Honestly, I was never really comfortable with being called Mr. It made me feel old. If it makes you feel any better, you gave me the impression that you were rude. Funny you should say that. As I was getting ready to move down here, an old co-worker approached me and told me he thought I was kind of an asshole. Sean, I forgot to ask, do you want regular or decaf? This just then, the search for eight-year-old Eric Ryan has officially ended. His body was discovered just moments ago buried next to what authorities say were the bodies of both Kimberly and Jennifer Knox. The records showed that the children were physically strangled while being drowned in water. Police say the bodies were discovered when a collision between two cars at Interstate 295 North occurred. Had the accident not have taken place at that particular location. Smile. I'm sorry, Sean. I tried talking him out of it, but between you and me, he can be a little stubborn at times. Don't worry. If it makes you feel any better, I won't be the one to kill you. I just have to clean it up. You're tied up, genius. Listen to me! I'm gonna tell Brian to make this fast and hurry up. But if you don't behave, then I'm not gonna tell him, okay? This camera belonged to my father. Long story short, Brian wanted to record this for some weird reason. Because I want to remember this. Maybe you scared me. Surprise is awake already. He's been good. 
of trouble. I'll have to remember to use more chloroform next time. That amount only works on the kids. Why? Why what? I told you, this is a sick world. Not only sick, but an absolutely frightening place. You know, when I was 13, my parents blessed me with motivation, structure, and most importantly, guidance. I do believe God tells me to guide this town. Turn people into his followers by striking fear in the hearts of the fearful. Fear is a great motivator. Thus maintains structure, gives meaning to the word guidance. Just a sick, spoiled brat. <laughs> by courageously accomplishing my lifelong goal, anything's possible. All I needed were a few sacrifices. Killing innocent kids? You call that courageous? Considered a way of bringing people together and having them accept the Lord as their Savior. Wait, wait, wait. Guess we're not going to New York after all, huh? <laughs> so it is true. Because of you, my daughter was here. And I'm here because of you! taken off. You have to call the cops. 
Do you want to join them, Sean? Go home, Sean. And if you're a religious man, I suggest you start praying we never meet again. Now get out of here. Hey, you. Hey, man. How's the arm? It's starting to itch, but what can you do? I came to say goodbye. I hope everything works out for you in the future. What can I say? It's been surreal. You be careful. I still can't believe after knowing them for a number of years they... Hey man, we just gotta be careful who we meet next time. It's all over now. <laughs> and you gotta be careful next time you're loading boxes onto your trailer. Yeah. Will do. So, another meeting? Another fundraiser? Yeah, we're looking to set up a brand new playground for the kids outside. So how much you managed to raise? 15000 in three months. Holy shit. I mean, that's really good during this kind of recession. I don't know. Most of it came from the dedication that Brian and Sally put into it. I guess that just goes to show that too much of a good thing is never a good thing. Hey, drop me a car when you get to New York. No, actually, I'm going back to my old job. They kept a spot open for me. I hope everything goes as planned for you. Take care. Thank you.